Today I'm going to teach you how to make an avatar using a free online program called Portrait and Illustration Maker. You can either type Portrait and Illustration Maker into your search bar or you can click on the link that I put into the Gmail rules document or in your Gmail. Once you get to Portrait Illustration Maker, you can work with these blue squares. I'm going to ask that you not click on the green squares but you can use the blue squares and if you want to start from scratch you can also click on delete which is the orange square. Now, I like to start with a face line and you can pick from a variety of different shapes. It can look like you or not. Okay. And once you pick a face line it, um, your eyes and eyebrows and mouth are going to pop up on the, the little guy on the left. So now that I have my face line I'm going to change my eyes and I want my eyes to be green so I'm going to go to coloration and I'm going to turn my eye color from brown to a dark green and then I'm going to change my nose I think that looks a little bit more like me alright then I'm going to go to mouth and I'm going to go to coloration again because I think that my lips are too dark maybe a little too pink. Ah, that'll work. Okay. I think I'm missing something. Oh yes, my glasses. So I'm going to scroll down and find a perfect pair of glasses. Oh, I think I need to give myself some clothes, so I'm going to click on body. And then you can see you have a bunch of different clothes that you can choose between. Have no fear, you can change the color of these if you want to. So I'm going to click this one go back to coloration and I can see that it's red and white just like these, this picture up here shows it's red and white. I want to change that red to turquoise because that's my favorite color and go back to coloration and I'm going to change the white to maybe a nice dark or bright purple. Nice. Okay. Am I still missing something? Oh yes, I'm missing my hair. So I'm going to click on hairstyle and scroll down through the different styles. I have short hair with bangs so I'm going to pick that one. Click on coloration to change the color again and I'm going to make my hair color kind of blonde-ish. Maybe not. That works. Alright, then I think I kind of want a background so I'm going to click on back and you, there are a bunch of different backgrounds that you can choose between. I kind of like these bubbles. Those make me happy. So you can give yourself different backgrounds. There's a little heart. Okay. I think I like those bubbles. If you want to experiment a little bit with words, adding words, you can click on alignment and you can add words. It looks like I might need to do something to make those words show up. Let's see, play around with these numbers if you don't, there it is. Okay, so you can add words and you can move your words over by playing with these little numbers. Alright, I'm pretty happy with my avatar. But you can also experiment with accessories like earrings. No cigarettes, wine, or beer please if you find anything weird like that. But you can give yourself scarves and jewelry, give yourself a rose in your teeth if you wanted to, or some earrings, or a computer. I think I'll give myself a computer. Alright, once, you like, once you're finished with your avatar, you could, oh, you could also put something in your hand. Once again, no cigarette, but you could give yourself a microphone, cats, babies, all sorts of athletic gear and musical instruments, food, but once you've picked something and you're happy with it, you're going to click on download. And that's going to automatically end up in downloads on your computer, on your desktop. Right. The next screencast I'm going to show you is going to be about how to get your avatar from your downloads into the settings in your Gmail.